Hi, Jim Miller here. Over decades of teaching, one recurring question is, how do you tune your drums? Before doing this video, I looked at the system of tubes that we scientists call the internets and noticed a lot of blog comments falling into two basic camps, either overthinking the matter or complaining that the process is too hard. Did you know that famous actor, star of stage and screen, Marlon Brando, was a drum aficionado? and was awarded a patent in 2002 for inventing a motorized, automated drum head tuning system. For something that works on planet Earth, though, another passion of Brando's concerned Native Americans, and they believed that when you cut down a tree to make a drum, you killed it. So the drummer's job was to bring the life spirit back into that piece of wood. My point is that your drum itself tells you what it wants to sound like. The wood talks to you. Of course, first you have to remove all the unnatural man-made attachments. When my mom surprised me with a drum set for my birthday in 1966, I felt like the luckiest boy in the world, let me tell you. But for some reason, though, I still took them all apart and put them back together. And then they truly felt like mine. I don't know why, and it would probably take years of expensive therapy to find out. It did come in handy later though when I started building my own drum sets. Now for all those who discussed online that they had no interest or inclination in stripping their drums down so the bare shell could speak to them, that it's just too much trouble, well, remember this famous quote from one of Marlon Brando's most famous roles. A man who doesn't spend time with his drums can never be a real drummer. It's not hard or even very time consuming. All you need are some speed keys, a set of socket wrenches, a couple of screwdrivers, Phillips and regular, So, there you have it, a pristine, beautiful, naked shell. Hear that? Howdy, Mr. and Mrs. America and all the ships at sea. How y'all doing? That's a G. A good old country G. And now, through the miracle of time-lapse photography, we'll reassemble the drum and tune it. First the batter side, or the top head, and then the resonant side. And we'll do it loosely at first, and then fine-tune it. Letting your drum tell you what its pitch should be remedies the whole matter of tuning too tight so the sound is choked right out of the drum or having the heads too loose and flabby which just produces a dull unmusical thudding sound. 
Once all your drums are in pitch with themselves, and therefore with each other, amazing things can happen. One of the coolest things ever is when you're playing some piece of music with your band and your drums magically seem to be in tune with the song. And that can only happen if you tune up. Jim Miller is not an endorser for Gretsch drums, Remo heads, Promark sticks, or whoever made that socket wrench set, although he would be pleased if they asked him to.